Hello and welcome back to another video and today we are going to have a look back at what we have done in our first week of being back at school so I'm currently filming this at the weekend I've just finished my first week and we're going to have a quick reflection on the first week of school because that's what teaching is all about it's all about looking back and reflecting you can hear a bit about what we've done in my first week and a little about what we're looking forward to over the next week and the first you might be able to hear if you can hear my voice if you listen to these videos regularly or watch them regularly first of all i've got the back to school sniffle i've got the cold i've got whatever it is you get when you go back to school and you mix all the kids and there's germs flying around across school and yeah i'm a bit ill so i apologize if i do some sniffing or if i cough or anything like that in this video but yeah i'm not 100 percent at the minute but it's nothing too bad, it will pass pretty quick, I'm sure. But that's the first thing you always get back to school after your first week. There's always a bit of a sniffle, a bit of a cough, a bit of a sneeze going around. And you're more than likely to catch it as you've spent six weeks without being in that environment. So it kind of hits you all in one go. And yeah, that's what's happened to me. So that's my gift for the end of my first week. Congratulations, I spent the weekend feeling a bit rubbish. But I should be back and ready for Monday. Now, looking back at the rest of the week, it actually was a really positive week, but it was a really tough week. You know, I am holding my hands up to that. Teaching is not always the easiest job in the world. And it has been a tough week just to get myself going. And I think because I enjoyed my summer so much and I had such a good time this summer, it really did take me a few days to get back into the swing of things. And that's why I was very glad we had that Thursday, Friday inset day this year, because that gave me enough time to get myself going, get myself ready and organised, ready for Monday with the children back in class. And in terms of working with children, again, that's been really, really positive. They've actually done really, really well. So I knew, obviously, from this is my third year going into year five this year, I was ready for a few things that I knew were going to come up. And they did. And as always, they always do. And I'll go into them in a few minutes about what type of things that was. But I was ready for them. I knew it was going to happen. And we rolled with it and kept on going. And then I also, you know, we've taken on a few new schemes this year, things like maths. And so again, that's gone really, really well, too. So I'll talk about them in a second too. So the first thing I knew I was going to get ready for that I knew would come up and as always did is the kind of fall back when you start a new year. And by that, I mean, when you work with the class for a full year, you get to the end of that year's curriculum, you get to the end of year five, then, you know, you're like, yeah, I'm confident. We've done really well. You know all your stuff. You know what you're doing. Brilliant. And then you leave them to go up into the next class. You get your new class back and all of a sudden it's just completely pressing the reset button. It's completely starting again. You're all the way back at square one. And that's what happens every single year. And I think before now, it always kind of surprised me a little bit. It always kind of shocked me. And I knew to be ready for it this year. I knew I'd hit the ground running and I knew to keep my expectations high, but to be ready for where the children are. And that's not to mean they're any further back than any other year group. This happens every single year. And it's just because children are moving on to the next year group. So the children I've just taken on have learned all the year four curriculum. Now it's my job to teach them all the year five curriculum. And that's what we're going to do over the course of this year. And it happens the same every single year. But it's always a bit of a shock when you come to a new class and you look at them and go, whoa, OK, we've got a whole year's worth of stuff to get through. Let's get going. Let's get started. Let's crack on and get as much of it done as quickly as possible. So it's about going back to the start. And again, I've made some little tweaks this year just to make sure I'm doing everything a bit more consistently. For instance, like I talked about in my mean term planning video that I'll try and remember to link up there or if not, go look at my recent uploads that I'm kind of blocking everything out a bit. So we're doing a lot of history this term and hopefully that's going to have a more consistent approach. And a bit like our reading, I'm going to do all our reading before half term with our reading book and our novel. And then after half term, we're going to look at more of the comprehension side of things around our assessment week, that kind of thing. So again, there's some little tweaks we're doing this year that I've started, but they should all be absolutely fine. So then talking about the new schemes that we've started. So we've looked into White Rose scheme this year and we looked into it a little bit in the last year and said, yep, this is what we're going to try this year. And so we've started it. And, you know, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I have done a video where, again, I'll try and remember to link it, where we did have a look into the scheme and what it kind of looks like. And I'm sure I will do another one in a few weeks time when I've really got my teeth into it. And I really know what I'm doing and how we're getting on with it. But so far, I do like it. I think it's quite quick. It's quite easy, but it's also very detailed. It's quite thorough for the children in terms of they it covers all the base that they need to know and the wording's good the way it's laid out is good the textbooks are brilliant the children can just write in and do all the work on it's nice and neat and easy so yeah i think i'm quite a big fan so far but again we'll see how it goes the obvious thing to mention at this point in the first week of term is there's been a bit of major news that has gone on in england and the united kingdom and across, across the commonwealth this week and that is that very sadly queen elizabeth ii sadly died on thursday and this was absolutely huge news. I think for most of us, I know for me, it was very unexpected news. And it was not something that I expected to come up in the first week back. And it's a very good example. It's a very big example, but a very good example of how nothing can be planned perfectly. Nothing can be expected to stay the same. And I know I talked about this in my planning video, about how to be ready for things to change. And straight away, that was a good example of how that meant that on Friday, some of our lessons moved around because we had a bit of a discussion about the Queen and who she was and what she did and how to celebrate her life. 
And then I know there'll be some stuff going on this week coming about that kind of thing. We made a bit of a prayer space in the hall for the children that want to kind of say a prayer to the Queen and that kind of thing. As a C of E school, we have to follow the guide that they put out. Then on the 19th, on the Monday, there's going to be a bank holiday as well. So again, my planning is going to have to shuffle around a bit because there's one whole day less that we're going to have in class. And it's very, very sad what's gone on. And it's very, it's been so moving to watch the news and to watch all the people going out and visiting Buckingham Palace and watching the Queen, obviously the funeral that will take place on Monday. The state funeral will be absolutely huge. But it's also one of those things where you can use it and say, look, like, these types of things just do happen. They do happen very regularly. Obviously, this is one on a massive scale. But you know what? Over the last few years, with what's gone on across the world, these things do happen. And just to be ready for them, don't let them knock you off your path. But that is a good example of how we've just got to keep on going, keep on planning. We've also started up our planning for the Harvest Festival. So this year for our Harvest Festival, we're doing a whole assembly in the afternoon this year for the first time. And normally it's in the morning, but we're doing an afternoon one this year. It's near, sometime near the end of September and each class is going to have their own little thing. So my class is going to kind of, we're doing, going to get a bit of our work sorted, which myself and the year six teacher actually swap because I teach you computing for year five and six and she does artwork for year five and six. So she's going to get a bit of art sorted. There's going to be a bit of a song, hopefully with a bit of sign language to go with it. And that will all be sorted, ready for the next couple of weeks. We've started planning that. And then looking ahead to the next couple of weeks, alongside that, then it's just about getting into the swing of things, getting making sure everything keeps on going, making sure the children are starting up reading, so the reading records have gone out, and obviously you want to encourage children reading as much as possible. So about making sure that that's keeping going, and all those kind of things have been set up, and timetable and interventions have been set up, and how everything's going to work in class has been set up. And that's just the type of thing that does take a little while to get sorted. It's not something that on the first day you just go bang, right, everything's going to work 100%, go to plan. You've got to work out alongside the people you're working with, the different teaching assistants you've got in your classroom, the different teachers across school and the timings of everything. You've just got to make sure that everything is pretty much sorted as soon as possible. But once all that is sorted and once you are ready to go, then it is a really, really positive feeling because now you can look ahead to the future. And I know we've got six weeks until half term and that feels like a really long time, but actually it will go so quickly. Before you know it, it'll be middle of October that you'll be getting ready for the Christmas rush and after half term everything goes full on Christmas mode at schools and you start thinking about Christmas plays or celebrations and Christmas fairs and with Christmas being well not Christmas being so early but the Christmas holiday starting so early this year I think our last day is something like the 18th of December or something crazy this year maybe even the 16th I can't remember off the top of my head but I'll try and kind of put a picture up on the screen for you but yeah, there's all sorts of things to get ready for and it's a really, really exciting time coming up. And so that brings us to the end of our first week of term. And as always, I saw someone share this. I think it was on Twitter recently. It might have been on Instagram, but it made me laugh. And again, I'll try and put a photo of it on the screen for you. But it is one of those things where it said something along the lines of there's no such thing as tired, such as first week back at school tired. And I think that is so true. It's so true for everyone who works at school, but it's also so true for the children. You could tell by the time we got to Friday that they had had a long week. It had been a tough week settling back in getting into new routines, getting used to the new classrooms and how everything works. And especially at our school, we've gone back and we've changed kind of lunch times around. Some of the break times have changed. So there's been all sorts of change, not just with coming back to school, but then how school works compared to when they were last there in year four. So it has been a bit of a mental week for everybody. And that's why hopefully this weekend you've had a chance to get a nice relax, have a nice chill. And you know what? Again, for me, it has been a really busy weekend. Once I've finished filming this video, I'm hoping to put my feet up and actually enjoy my afternoon a little bit. Watch a bit of the Formula One that is on. Obviously, there hasn't been any football on this weekend as a sign of respect for the Queen. But hopefully we can get back to some kind of normality soon and keep on going on. And obviously, hopefully, whatever your school is doing to show your respects to the Queen and show how what a wonderful life she had. Hopefully it's a sign of celebration and not just of mourning. And you get to celebrate the amazing role she had, the amazing work she did and the amazing life she led. So as always, do let me know in the comments how you're getting on. I know I've had some really good conversations with people recently in the comments on videos. And I do, obviously that is one of the best things about this channel is that I can hopefully help some people. And I get to know so many people and so many new ideas from the channel. And it just really, really does help out the channel if you do stick a comment in down there. So even if you just say hi, then thank you very much if you do that. So as always, there's a new video on a Tuesday, a Friday and a Sunday. I know I missed a video at the weekend just because I would normally do my filming on the Saturday. But as you can hear, and as I said at the start, I was not feeling very well. So I didn't get that video filmed out. But then hopefully this one will be out on Tuesday and then we'll be out good to go from there on a Friday and a Sunday coming up and continuing on. So as always, thank you very much for watching this. I'll see you very soon.